hello welcome to my humble abode today i'm going to be showing you how i did my makeup in prison also i ate edibles so <laughs> i'm going to be using things that are not found on commentary so we are gonna have to use our imagination for a few items and then i thought after i was done getting all dolled up i could talk to you guys about how i had to break up with a girlfriend I did not do this to my face all the time. I actually did a lot of girls makeup for visiting purposes. The weekend when family would come, friends would come and I was hair and makeup. Nobody ever came and visited me. <laughs> well, I did get a visitor one time. My lawyer came to visit me. <laughs> my lawyer came to visit me. Oh my God, what? I just noticed my lawyer came and visited me and I got a Milky Way, a dark chocolate Milky Way with caramel. It was all caramel Milky Way. I couldn't believe it. I snuck it back in and I shared a piece with all my girls. Now I only did my makeup like this for, you know, special occasions or, you know, when I was bored. You know, church, Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, when this girl finally left the yard, she got transferred. She had a swastika tattooed on her forehead. Very, very unstable lady. All the way around. Just all the way around. I don't think it's fixable. And I would never say that about somebody. I had not talked to Nan for a while. And I finally had gotten him on the phone. And a huge freaking fight broke out. Because earlier that morning, the girl with the swastika called another inmate the n-word and then they were meeting in the middle of the field and i was on the phone with dan and i was watching both of them and coming together and i was telling him i was like no they're gonna lock us down i was only on the phone for like one minute now if you all remember from the last video episode two i revealed that i actually have a line tattooed underneath my eyebrows got my eyebrows tattooed before i went in which <sighs> where was microblading God darn, I just went to this lady and it was $300. Can I tell you, you know how good it feels to finally get that off my chest? It's so annoying. I'm like, ugh. Like it's not bad because it it's very light, but still like it kind of like shows a little bit like right here and it's like, ah. It was funny too because she was like, you're gonna have to come in in two weeks for a touch up. I was like, oh, actually I'm going to court in three days. I never got the touch up, which was lucky me. I, ow. I just knuckle punched my freaking table. I'm going to be using that glue over your eye where you take Elmer's glue, you put a couple of coats on your skin and then you peel it off and then you attach it to your eyes and then you put foundation over it. I have to have a face that looked like what was happening when I was in there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of an issue with the glue. I guess I don't remember what the steps were. In gel, you don't get any mirrors on commissary or anything like that. They do have these really, really foggy mirrors like above the sink. You can't see yourself. If you look like in the corner, you can get real close to get your eyeliner maybe right in prison it's kind of like the same thing just a little bit better the mirrors are better but they're foggy still in the bathrooms right still it was so incredible to get there and see myself for the first time after 30 days of not seeing myself commissary came my mirror came <laughs> I have an example for you. Mirrors were the size of a postcard. And if you bent them, which was very easy to do, you needed a new mirror because it was just ruined. You're gonna look like you're in the funny house at the circus, okay? So this is what it would look like. And so this is funny because it's not that far off from what's like, this is literally what I'd be doing. <laughs> If you, you like this, you'd look crazy. But what you want to do is you want to put it in a book. I am going to make my eyebrows disappear. So I'm cheating right now. I'll, I'll, I will take it. That is actually pretty spot on. <laughs> I think a little bit thinner, maybe, and higher. I think I gave myself too much credit. <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys how to make foundation. So you're going to need instant coffee grounds, baby powder, lotion. Here's what we're gonna do guys, okay? We're gonna take our paper plate here and we're gonna pump some motion. Pump some motion. Two, three. Now remember, this isn't, you know, gonna super coverage or anything like that, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. I have a stir. I know it's contraband. Don't ask how I got it. You're not supposed to do that. And if you wanna use it, 
two soups. We're gonna take these coffee grounds and we're gonna make them into powder. I found that crushing it on a plate or on the wall or on the sink is kind of like, not only unsanitary, but not like super quick and productive. I'm gonna use my ramen and put this on the plate. Okay, I wanna ask you something. I didn't even know that you could do this. When I went to prison and everybody was getting their ramen and they were just sitting there eating it, I was like, what's happening? And they're like, yeah, it's delicious. You guys, it's incredible. Have you? Give it a try. Dan says that nobody does this. This is ridiculous. I don't, you guys tell me, what do you think? Oh, I love it. For real. Is I'm going to take some of these coffee grounds and I'm going to put them in here, really powder it up, okay? We want dust. We don't want clumps, because if you have clumps, then it's kind of, you know, clumpy. We go ahead and dump it on this side. We're gonna take some powder. What the f Is that how that's supposed to come out? Are you supposed to breathe this in? I think it's irritating me. I'm gonna mix this until it gets into a, like a kind of a thicker consistency, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take like that much, just a little bit at a time, and it's gonna start to change color. Isn't that incredible? Pretty cool, right? You don't want any of the officers catching you doing this though. You get it taken away, you might get a ticket. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix in some baby powder and just kind of thicken it up. Oh, you guys, I was like, I was like, a, it was like I was working at MAC. That must have what it felt like. I was mixing foundation, I was matching, I was matching, see, I was very busy. I was very, very busy. Now, let's see. Okay, for real, look at this. Look at that. It's foundation, dude. It's foundation. What? I'm gonna use my hands, okay? Because that's what you use. Wow, I like actually match that perfectly. <laughs> Let's see if it'll cover up this pimple. No, see, it, I wouldn't, I don't know what coverage level you would call this. Don't forget to blend the neck. A little more action. We're gonna cover up the pimple. Powder. We need to bake our face. What are we gonna bake our face with? You guessed it. Baby powder. Here's what you're gonna use. A sock. Too much. Don't forget the neck. Let's wipe it all off now. Now we're gonna be doing eyeshadow and eyeshadow is gonna actually be taken. Did you see that? It sliced and diced me. A magazine. What color would we like to do? Ooh, that's a nice one. This is very simple. Deodorant. Speed stick is my favorite and scented. I, this is the one I use all the time. Put it on your finger, put it on the magazine. And your finger should have the color on it. Exhibit A. See? Not too shabarunos, eh, brotherunos? I think my eyeshadow looks, you guys, my face is burning. It's on fire, I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's also freezing up. Like we're getting really stiff. You take colored pencils. This is obviously name brand and you probably can't see it because of the green screen, my bad. This is name brand Crayola, but I'm just now realizing that it's watercolor colored pencils. That's kind of cheating because if you get these wet, they're probably gonna be like extra vibrant. Oh my God, and that's not even wetting. What happens when you wet it? I'm just gonna lick it. Oh my God, give the girls the watercolors. I'm gonna be putting this in water. Dude, the pigment. <sighs> Somebody's gonna beat me up for these 
special markers. We need eyeliner. Here's the black. I'm not going to go on my waterline like I used to do because I was crazy. But we're going to go underneath like this right here. This is non-toxic, right? I'm trying to get this side even. Of course, it's not working. I have a visit in like t literally 10 minutes. I can't. Oh! Okay, let's go to the top. There we go. And you know what? It would look crazy like this because I didn't have a freaking mirror. I thought I looked all right. Now on the commissary in prison, you do get some makeup products like mascara, which was wet and wild, I believe. Weird. I just so happen to have some wet and wild right here. So we're just gonna do a few sweeps. I don't have one. I'm upset about it. I tried to find a card around this house that had glitter on it. You can send greeting cards. If you had a card with glitter on it, you know, you can swipe that off and use it as highlighter. You can use it as glitter on your eyelids. Next, what we're gonna be doing is we need to find ourselves some blush. We're going back to our book and I'm going to find a bright pink. I'm just, this is literally what I'm doing. Deodorant and my fingers. Really blend. As you see, you could basically, oops, no, get your sock, don't freak out. Perfect. No, you just did the part with the blush part. <laughs> now we're going to be moving on to lips. You can get chapstick off of commissary, so I got a basic chapstick right here. You don't get the name brand. No name brand ever happened unless there was donations. When you had name brand, we knew it was, oh, we thanked the donut. We got McDonald's sugar one time. It is so different than the sugar at the prison. It was so delicious. It was crazy. I was eating it with my finger like fun dip. We're going to do our lips. So like I said, chapstick. I'm going to take a little bit of this chapstick right now. It just screamed at me. So we're gonna take our deodorant again and we're gonna put a little deodorant on our finger. Chapstick is not gonna get the color off of the magazine. We're gonna go in. That's pretty red. Now this is, okay. So we have a little bit of an issue. I forgot to get an item. So I'm gonna try to use a different item, but I'm not sure if this is going to work. You can get vitamin E capsules. And what you do is you take a thumbtack and you take one of those little capsules, you poke a hole, and then you do a little couple drops and put on your lips and boom, your lip gloss is popping. But I have fish oil. It's the only oil I have in a capsule. I don't know if this is gonna smell, what's gonna happen. I'm hoping I get that glossy effect so that way I can really drive it home and just show you guys. And that's why I wanted to make this as realistic as possible. You know, these are the new capsules too. The coating on the outside is so it's not as smelly. So that kind of gave it away to me that it might be smelly, but I don't know. So you poke a hole, it's the same, oh, we're in. Oh my God, I'm glad I did not put that on my lips. I'm glad I didn't put it on my lips. Honey, baby, sweetheart, what the, that's fine, okay. Okay, that's everywhere. Wow, that's really stinky. Well, I had no idea. I've been eating those for a long time. You need to smell good. Magazine. Oh, perfect. It's right there. Yes. These perfumes. They're your friends. Girls would hoard these. And by girls, I mean me. Now, these two parts, this doesn't have anything in it. These are where the perfumes are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it one more time. You can get one, two, three, four uses out of one sample. Open it up and see you're gonna have perfume on this side and this side. Heat it up and you put it around your ears and you rub for a while. 
if you have a letter going to a loved one, take this and then you put it inside, keep it inside of the envelope, right? And just let that sit for like a few days and you're gonna have a nice smelling, oh, that smells good. How'd she do that? because she's freaking magic. That's why I got two more for later. That's it for the makeup part. Now I wanna tell you guys a very, very quick story about how I had to break up with this girl that I did not even know we were, it was an accident. I'm changing her name to Inferno. We're walking around the track and it's right before chow. Uh, let me paint you a picture of what Inferno looked like. Very, very, masculine, muscly, I would say intimidating, yes, for sure, for sure. You don't wanna get on her bad side. Most of the girls in there, you don't wanna get on their bad side. Walking around the track and she just goes, so I was just wondering if you, you wanted to kick it with me. Now, kick it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I thought we were kicking it. We're, we're kicking it right now. We, we, we always kick it. And she got very excited and I should have taken that as a hint that things were not as they seemed. So we all go to our pods. This is, again, this is right before chow. This girl comes up to me. She goes, so you and Inferno are, are an item. I said, huh? She's my friend. And she goes, no, she said you guys are kicking it. Yes. And she was like, well, don't you know what that means? And I said, hanging out. He goes, nope, that's not what that means. You basically just agreed to be her girlfriend. What? I go over to Tasha. You guys remember my bestie, right? And I said, Tasha. I said very calmly. I was walking around on the track with Inferno and she asked me if I could kick it. And I said, of course I could kick it because I thought that we were kicking it. She said, ha ha ha, you better hurry up and break up with her. Break up with her? I have to break up with somebody? I don't want to do that. I don't like confrontations. It's also important for you guys to know there's A, B, C. It's building, it's like 100 girls, 100 girls, 100 girls, right? And so she's in C, I'm in A. So it's kind of a walk. Now we're getting locked down because we have to get counted. So I don't have time to go break this off with her. Plus I'm having mad anxiety about it because I, I don't wanna have to go tell her that this was a misunderstanding. She was really happy. I'm so happy. Count ends, chow begins, and we're like standing in line and she kept trying to get into line with us and Tasha, <laughs> Tasha was protecting me. She kept like pushing me to the front, blocking us. <laughs> we even had an extra person sit with us that we like never ever sat with before. Our fourth friend was like sick or something. And you know, oh God, it was pizza day too. I just was not having a good day. I'll tell you, I know it sounds like, oh, pizza day, that sounds amazing. No, it's not amazing. Bread, it's not pizza, okay? That's not what it is. That's just what they call it, okay? You can call shit gold. They don't make it a piece of gold. Anyways, the pizza was horrible. Always burned. Always, I always complain about the pizza. I'm like, oh, that pizza, oh great. I'm, I can't wait to see what slices I get today. It had just a weird funky taste to it. There was these meat chunks on it. I'm not sure if they were real meat. I don't think they were. I don't understand how hard is it to freaking cook a pizza without freaking burning it or one big pizza fake cake thing. I don't know, okay? And then you have the inmates back there arguing and then like getting angry and they're taking it out on our slices. You're in a line and then you get to this window and there's just like this window and then just slide your tray underneath it and then you grab it and then you get to see what you're, and there is no window where you can be like, excuse me, this looks like shit. Please give me another one. And when we're supposed to be getting all, okay, I'm sorry. I'm running off on a completely different subject. <laughs> So we get back, she is chilling, and I have to go break up with her. Oh my God, I'm pumping myself up. I'm just saying like, okay, this is a misunderstanding. It just like was tripping me out, right? I'm pacing, this is crazy. The more you are together with somebody in a prison or jail setting, the more attached they become. It's very, very, very dangerous with some women too that are just completely, you know, they're marbles, 
rolled away a long, long time ago. I'm not gonna write her a letter because that's that's a, that's a wussy thing to do. I can't go somebody who's on the same freaking yard as I am. So I have to walk from A to C. Walking down the hallway, I pass microwave one, pass microwave two. Believe it was a Friday, so everybody's up making their snacks, you know, getting ready to party. I get to her book. She's sitting there reading. So I come over and I was like, hey, Inferno. She's like, oh, hey, babe. She goes, sit down. I go, oh, I need to talk to you. And she takes her hand and puts it on my thigh. And then I put my hand on her hand and I, and I, you know, I slide her hand to my knee area. She goes, what's up, babe? What's going on? You can tell me anything. You know that. I don't know about this one, babe. I said, listen, I really think you're amazing. I, th I think this isn't a good starting either. You should not start with this, right? But I... I was, I was young and dumb, you know. I said, listen, I have a fiance whom I love with all of my heart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I even said I love you at one point, you know, as a friend. We have to break this off. I can't, I can't, I can't do this, you know. I'm thinking it's gonna be cool because she's sitting there looking at me, seeming like she's soaking it all in. It's registering. I can go back to normal again. She slowly takes her hand off of my knee and she leans back and she goes so what all of this was a joke to you i mean what about the cookies and i was like what no absolutely not i don't i don't think this is a joke at all she was like these are my feelings i said look when you said kick it i thought you meant you know hanging out as friends you know because that's what kicking it to me meant look this is completely on me i read up on everything about prison before i came in you know thinking i had everything down except for the kicking it part which thank you for teaching me that now i know for future reference you won't do that again. Let's take something positive away from this. You taught me something that I'll never forget. She looked really, 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 really sad. I thought things were gonna be okay because we weren't even together for that long. She ended up leaving the next day to another yard. She request, she requested, she would, requ she requested. <laughs> Why can't I say requested? She requested, she requested, <laughs> How do you say you're crested? Now it doesn't even sound like a word. She requested. <laughs> she wanted to go to another. I'm sorry, I can't do it. She wanted to go to another yard and she wrote me a letter, which I still have. It's in my prison box. I've never thrown it away, which is going to be another video. Ah, going through my prison box. I have the menus. I have other things and all this other stuff. Letters from friends. Letters from officers. That's another story. I'm going to tell you about the good cops and the bad cops. I got a lot to tell you guys. So she wrote me a letter and just basically saying, this is going to be too hard for me to be on the same yard with you. I hope you're happy with your fiance. I really feel like... <laughs> I am happy with my uh, fiance. Oh, we were still together. He's my husband now. You know, I should have had my suspicions when she made me that Jolly Rancher rose, which I'll make for you guys if you want to see that. Oh my God, I got so good at making those. Speaking of Jolly Rancher, that's the last thing I'll show you guys. Let's use our imagination and pretend that this is hairspray. On commentary, you can buy hairspray. I think it's like $1.50. It's in a clear bottle. Everything's in a clear everything, so you can't hide anything. Pretend I'm opening it. Well, actually, you don't have to pretend that part because I'm doing that part. And now, act like... Why am I doing this? I don't have to do this whole... You can get Jolly Ranchers off of commissary. And what we would do is you would take a couple Jolly Ranchers and you would throw it in your hairspray. I put two green apple in and it actually helps to make it extra sticky. And so I put... <laughs> I put six Jolly Ranchers in my hairspray. Six Jolly Ranchers in my hairspray. I spray, spray, spray my hair. This is how I would always wear my hair, by the way. And you also can get these little baby clips. I would order some every single week because you get different kinds. And sometimes you'd be like, finally, I got some matching ones. So I would always use those to clip my hair down. I put the six Jolly Ranchers in my hairspray, right? I smelled so incredible. Everybody was giving me compliments. You know who else was giving me compliments? Bees. Oh my God. God, that was a big mistake. I had to throw away my, my hairspray. Six Jolly Ranchers is way too much. Two is the magic number. I think three is good too though. I don't know. I never, I never went, I never went past two after I went to six. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next time. <laughs>
not my, that's not what I sign off with. I can't wait to see you in the next time. I mean, it's true. <laughs> I can't wait to see you in the next time. I love you. And until next time. <laughs>